Hi, this tutorial is just to develop something very similar to this uh, scenario you guys can see. Uh, you can even uh, decide to develop or create uh, a, forest, a forest landscape. You know? So what I'm going to do now is to start uh, the tutorial all over so that you guys can so I've started a new document, so what I intend to do is to change the background settings to 1024 by 600 okay, pixels, and I will also change the background color. Now let me select something green, yeah, that's my background, and the next thing I will be doing is uh, Create the following timelines. I need another one for just my green. Let's change that to just to a box or green box, and uh, follow by I have my green box there, and uh, let me create another layer. The next layer will be called cloud. Okay, so I'm just going to lock up the other two clouds. So what I'll do now is get uh, my rectangle tool. My rectangle tool, yeah, that's fine. Just draw that. That's my rectangle tool. But I will now change the color of this rectangle tool. Let me come here change the color to blue I want something similar maybe a little bit darker yeah let's see a little bit darker okay. let's make it a little bit darker Yeah, that's that's cool. So I will select my bucket and uh, let's select the bucket and uh, change it, change it to linear gradient. So the next thing is select this rectangle and change the size to one thousand and twenty-four by six hundred. Okay, now get your alignment tool, which is right here, and align. Let's align it. Uh, yeah, align vertical and get it centered. Okay, if you look in here, this is what we've done so far. We just so far. This is what we've done. Okay, that's what we've done so far. So I'm going to just close that and continue with my tutorial. So now I'm going to lock up that. Open up my green box. Change the color of the green box. Let's change it to green. Get another box. Let me just draw the green box somewhere here. Maybe somewhere here. Yeah, let's put it like that. And uh, that's the background. Let's give it, uh, change it to linear gradient. Make sure it's selected. Select the green box. And come over to yeah, linear gradient. Change it to green. Mm, I need something a little bit quicker. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. So that's the green. So I now want to change gradient now. Uh, let's see. That's the width of the box. So let me just select this box and sort of like reduce it to about maybe 180. And uh, bring it down. 
bring the box down. Okay, that's my box there right now. Okay. Next, the next thing I'm gonna be doing is to try and set an horizon, horizon between my sky and the green box. So what I intend to do is let me first of all hide the green box. Sorry, let me hide it. Select the sky and go to color and uh, sort of like move the white bit a little bit. Oh no, that's a bit too much. Okay, that's about right. Now let's make the green box visible again. So let's see. Yeah, can you see that? You can see there's a sort of like horizon between the green field and the sky. Okay, I'll just lock this up. Then the next thing I'm going to be doing is start developing my what I class as my clouds. So the next time I'm going to be doing now is to start work on my clouds. So let's change the tools to oval tool and draw out my clouds. Okay. You might be wondering what kind of cloud is he drawing? Just keep your eye open. my clouds let's make it a little bit bigger well, so I decided to do it like this because you sort of like give it a form of uh, to make it beautiful so what I'm gonna do is now is to just convert this uh, so-called cloud convert it to a movie clip okay there we are let me just call it cloud cloud one okay it's now a movie clip so what you then need to do is come down to your filter select the filter and then choose blur okay now the x and y axis of this blur let me change that to about I say 50 and you guys see that you see it's sort of like change and that is the cloud in a lower form if I decide to change it to medium let's say it looks in medium you see just simulating the cl a cloud that's high okay so I'm going to change it to low can you guys see that well I can I, I can just end up <coughs> Go back into the library, <clears throat> copy more, insert more clouds into the library. And all I just need to now do is change the property, go to the property and change, use the filter property and just change the blur to whatever size I want. In this case, let me say medium. And I change the medium to about maybe 60. Okay, and you see that, guys. Look at that. Okay. It's looking beautiful on it. Great. So let's repeat exactly the same thing to the third wonder. Change it to about uh, maybe 30. 30. Okay, make it uh, high. And let me let, let me add a little bit of effect to this. Come to alpha and just sort of like maybe alpha is a little bit but the problem is the all these cloud is sort of like look similar to each other so I want to sort of like let, let me just change it side style a little bit maybe flip the other one and uh, maybe flip this one horizontally as well and then uh, maybe increase the size just increase the size okay so far, let, let me just see what we've done so far. See, it's looking, it, it, it's now, it now looks real. Let's see how real it takes. So, I'm just going to run the program and see how it looks like for now. 
it's completely different from uh, the first one I created, but uh, just following the same procedure. Look at that. I'll continue and just change the whole bit and uh, maybe move uh, this box up a bit and cover here. Okay, so let's continue. Okay, guys, so uh, there seems to be an error here. So what I'm going to do is uh, change the size of uh, of the background and uh, maybe leave the size of the cloud the way it is. So let me go back into the design view. I'll come here, move this away, and uh, the background. As the background, they change that to about 800. Uh, 800. Okay. Now I want to move uh, the cloud. Let's move the cloud to about the cloud there. Let's move it to somewhere here. Well, actually, it's advisable you use the alignment tool. Using by using the alignment tool, that's much better. So let me run it. Or let's make all of these other one visible. Here they are. Let's uh, let's run it and see how it is now. Okay. That is how it will look. You see, it's much better. And here, that's my green area, the green area, which is right here. I'm going to move this one down now. So let's move that right down, which is right here. Okay, I love that. I move this. Let's love this. Move this box right down. Okay. There. And uh, maybe. Let's move it to cover up and the horizon right there. You see it? So let's tap it. Maybe a tiny bit down so that uh, we can see the horizon. Yeah, that's fine. So let's run it again. Yeah, that's looking much better. You can see that. And you see the sky, see the green area. Okay, you can then see the horizon somewhere here. Okay, that's much better. So it could look more like an Amazon forest. These are the trees. Yeah, let's use the large tree. Let's drag that there. Maybe medium trees. One not okay. So now let me just resize the trees. Move it up a bit. Mm, yeah, that's good. Yeah, resize it again a bit, and do the same thing to this guy here, so that it looks a little bit fur further away from the big tree okay the same thing that's that guy is too fat to change that as a fat tree well fed tree okay and that is that there are a couple of trees here as well uh, another big tree here uh, maybe, maybe I should make this a little bit bigger as to make it different from the previous movie yeah. That's a big tree. Okay, that's looking good now. Okay, so let's run it one more time so that you guys can see. Test this uh, the scene and see how it looks. Uh, that's how it's looking now. It's now looking good. So what I'm going to be doing now, or what I'm going to do next, is to actually fill up this greenery. Let's change it to a proper grassy field or a jungle. I mean, it's going to be a jungle out there by the time we finish this program. So let's go back and uh, maybe move some of these, move all of these trees 
up a little bit. Yeah, just move them up. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah, maybe one more. One more three there somewhere. Should do it. Okay. Oh well. It's looking too. It's not looking too bad. It's a bit good. All right, that's good. So what I'm going to be doing now is to use this small tree and just create some other trees. So let me create a new layer. I'll cut this up. As uh, small tree, just create loads of them. see that that would take forever so instead of me creating things like this over and over again what I'm gonna do now is just highlight all of these that I've created convert it to symbol and just call it little trees I have my little trees. What I just need to do is to come here, populate all the area. But when you come to look at it, when you look at it, you notice uh, it seems this uh, grass field is sort of like covering the big trees. So, what I would do is to create another layer and put some of the grass tree, grass behind the big tree so it will look more realistic. So, let's do that now. Come in here. Okay, let me lock up this. Let's come in here, create another, another, let me just call that, yeah, grass, trees. So we have grass trees here, in between the big tree and this little tree. So, for it to be in between, let me move this one right underneath there. Okay. So I'm now going to place some of these my little trees in here. Let's grab. You see that? It's right behind the big tree. Can you see that? Okay. So I intend to achieve more of those. Yeah. Behind the big trees, looking much better now. It's a jungle out there, guys. See that now? It's looking more like a real jungle. It's an Amazon jungle. Well, that's how you develop your own landscape, a jungle style landscape or whatever kind of landscape you intend to, to develop. That's how you create one. You see how easy it is? So if I run the program right now, folks, let's see what we've done. Guys, that's beautiful. That's a landscape out there. I wish we can save some of our forests. I wish we can preserve our own forests, you see? That's beautiful. That's how it's meant to be. Somewhere in Africa or somewhere in uh, South America. The Amazon forest. That's how it should look. Subscribe and uh, I'll put in more work.